we're just going to get right into it. Tomorrow Shigaraki is right. We need to destroy the symbol of peace, but not only the symbol of peace, but the hero society. The My Hero Academia world is doomed to fail unless we, it goes through a great revolution! Throughout the video, I will be comparing Academia to Naruto, not to say that one series is better than the other, but to help strengthen my points from other fiction. To lay some groundwork, All Might was and still is to some degree the symbol of peace. In his prime, criminal activity went down and the comfort of society generally went up. Many would say he represented hope, but I disagree. I don't think All Might represents hope in a better tomorrow or even faith in heroes. I think he represents comfort, like a parent. The idea that no matter what you're going through, that they are there. You can even hear that in his catchphrase, for I am here. Me, All Might, the symbol of peace. The one everyone expects to protect them, not the heroes. And as the villains explain, this cripples society, it makes them weak and dependent, and their power comes directly from All Might, and as long as he wins, they have nothing to fear. But also, on the flip side, as long as he exists, you will have people like Tamora who have been let down by society's dependencies on All Might, and that same society who turns a blind eye to that dependency. Anyone caught up in the anime or even the manga will know that All Might now sees this, or at least I think he does, as a potential problem. That shouldering the burdens of society solely on his shoulders wasn't healthy, and the series seems to be Hinting that instead of one symbol of peace, maybe it's a few guys or maybe a generation of little kitties trying to be symbols of pieces. You know, so the responsibility won't solely be on one person. While I think the series is trying to go this way, currently I think it's doing a pretty bad job at it. The easiest way I found to showcase this was by looking at the Naruto series. In the Naruto series, Orochimaru killed, is this a spoiler? The third Hokage. He, he killed the third Hokage because he went to crush the leaf. And instead of just destroying the village itself, the reason why he specifically went after Saratobi is because he considered the village like a hydra or snake. Spider, the analogy about cutting the head off to kill the body or something, but if you cut a hydra's head off, it just regrow. Uh. He thought that by killing Saratobi Sensei that he could cross the leaf, similar to what all for one is the rock you believe with All Might. That by getting All Might out of the picture, society will eventually crumble and turn into the Age of Darkness. But notice the two differences between the two events. While Orochimaru did kill the Hokage, he ultimately failed because the will of fire burns on. Saratobi's ideas, his philosophy, has been passed down to the next generation, and the village will live on. Because the Hokage is not the village. But while All Might was victorious in stopping All for one, he was was forced to retire due to losing all of his powers. And what was All Might's final message? What was his dying wishes to society? Was it the will of peace symbols burns through? No, 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 no. He said, he said, you're next. Referring to Deku. That, that is Deku's time. It's debatable whether or not All Might meant it's your time to replace me as the symbol of peace or as the new strongest hero wielding the uh, one for all quirk. Regardless of the next piece, this wasn't All Might letting one for all. One for all. God. This wasn't All Might letting all for one know that, you know, even though I'm stepping down, you haven't won because without me, society will live on. Because the, the will of fire burns. No, no, no. This was some telling Deku that it's your time, bro. You, you got it. You got it. You gotta get with the program. <laughs> the society needs you. Like, soon. <laughs> but uh, no, 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 it doesn't just stop there. All Might is mentoring Deku, but I, I can hear you saying, what's wrong with mentoring Deku? He needs guidance for, for one for all. Blah, blah, blah. And I, I know, yes, Deku needs someone to guide him to help train him with his new quirk. What I'm trying to say is, Deku already believes in All Might's ideas of a hero. That's why he was chosen to be the heir for one for all. But All for Might hasn't spread that message to anyone else. You can make the argument that All Might has sort of started to groom Bakugo in a legal, non-creepy way, to be the perfect hero, but that's still just two heroes. Honestly, just one, Deku, but Deku's the only one in class A to inherit all from my philosophy, and maybe if you want to scratch it, about can go too. But let's look at Kakashi, because Kakashi shows that being someone's mentor doesn't strip you of your duty to the rest of your students. We all know Kakashi was a teacher squad, several with clues, noodles, sauces, and useless. And yes, just like all my Kakashi did play favorites with his favorite being Sasuke. He personally trained Sasuke and helped him get better uses of his Sharingan and taught him this ch uh, Chidori and other stuff. But you know what else Kakashi did? Even though he did no training for Naruto and Sakura after the Zabuza arc, he did leave his squad with one message. That those who break the rules are scum, but those who abandon their friends are no seen scum. Which was the only reason why they actually passed Kakashi Kazam. While Shigaraki wants to destroy the symbol of peace because it makes society weaker, which I agree with, ultimately he wants to make the lives of villains easier. I think, don't quote me on that. So as far as action go, I, I do support him, I want him to crush the hero society, because I think it needs massive reform, it should be 
more real life. I live in not Japan and our police system in my opinion works better than the hero system. Police are policemen. They are there to save the day but no one is put above another. They are a unit, a team and they work for the safety of society and not to become the, the most popular policemen. And even the rankings among them like captains and uh, whatever else they have are just people paid to take on more responsibilities but guess what? Well, while the police keep us safe and we depend on them to have a sense of security we are able to defend ourselves. We can, we can work out, learn martial arts, we can buy guns and other weapons to defend ourselves like carrying pocket knives. If we cannot get the help we need when we need it, we are allowed to defend ourselves. And if there's someone else in need, at least where, where I am, we have good Samaritan laws which protect us from legal trouble we're trying to save someone else's life. One of the most beautiful moments when I was a child was, was during Spider-Man 2, or the first one. When Spider-Man was fighting against the Green Goblin, his back was against the wall and all hope is seen lost because he's just so, so overpowering. The citizens see that Spider-Man is in dire need of help, and instead of doing nothing, instead of screaming and, and praying that Spider-Man comes through, they start throwing rocks at the Green Goblin to show that not only do they accept Spider-Man as one of their own, that this is their city and they aren't afraid to fight for it. The Hero Society is holding the citizens back. No one is allowed to use their quirk in public, no one's allowed to stop a robbery or an assault unless they are a hero. Society is telling them that they can't use their power, which means that they have no reason to train their quirk. And we know that by straining your quirk, you can become stronger. But think about all the people who were told that their quirks were useless and they can't become a hero. Think about the people like Deku's mom who can only lift small objects. But, 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 what if? What if she can only lift small objects because she stopped pushing herself when she was told that her quirk was useless? Because she was told that she can't use her quirk in public if something goes horribly wrong. The second she was told that she wasn't a hero, the second every citizen is told that they can't be a hero, they become helpless and depend on the heroes around them to save them. And, and my last and final point, we need to get rid of the hero ranking system. I personally don't want to because the hero ranking system is actually a bit cool, it's a bit coolio, but the glamorization of hero needs to stop honestly. It pits heroes against each other and it started Stain's ideology. Stain killed heroes because they weren't heroes for the good of mankind but for themselves, for their popularity, for their money, which is only exacerbated by the heroes being looked at as idols and by getting rid of that we can hopefully get rid of the symbol of peace because I think the symbol of peace regardless of who it is will always be the number one hero. My reason for this is as to being voted in as the number one hero Endeavor asked All Might what does it mean to be the symbol of peace and how can he fill the shoes because as the number one hero is his duty now and you know what All Might said he didn't say the, the will of fire burns in the next generation no no, no. he straight up told him bro figure it out it's not my problem anymore you work it out and you think that won't be Deku's problem when he eventually becomes the number one hero case in point Shikarak needs to lead a revolution and dismantle the system of oppression so that the hero society can ultimately grow and learn to be to better support itself so hopefully you enjoyed the video i'm trying to get better at scripting and make my videos more interesting and watchable while going over you know more just better topics i guess so if this video does do well and people like it then i'll, I'll try to make more content like this so if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. Peace.